Okay, in this video I'm going to go over uh, my control panel. Uh, so you just kick on there, it's calling for heat. And if you watch some of my other videos uh, about my heat exchanger and, and the other components of my system, you'll see what that's doing when it calls for heat. Um, and I have other videos for uh, all my other brewing stuff. But this one is going to be my, uh, my control panel. And it controls pretty much everything on the, the brewer. Um, the only thing I have to do away from the control panel is work a couple valves to, uh, to change the, the cycles and, and things like that. But this is the brains of the whole system here. Um, you see on top I have my master power indicator and the master power switch. If I throw that switch off, I'll go ahead and show you right now, it cuts the power to everything. So there's only, if it's plugged in, when that's off there's only one live wire inside that box, everything else is dead. Um, have my temperature controller, it's a watt low temperature controller, it works excellent for this application. Um, this is my switch, and I don't have anything labeled, I, I need to get labels on there, but I know what it does, so that's, that's really all I care about. Um, this is my switch for my heaters, for my heat exchanger, and this is my indicator light for the heaters being on or off in the heat exchanger. This is my control for the pump, and this is the indicator light for the pump. I can hear the pump, I don't really need the indicator light, but it looks cool. So I put it on there anyhow. So that's that's the external part to the, the control panel. I'll open it up here. Um, this it's got a, a watertight gasket on the on the perimeter of the door. So just in case I would spill something or uh, anything like that would happen, all the the electronics are going to be kept dry. And I have any any wire coming in and sealed inside a. PVC conduit so there's no chance of anything getting wet except for the pump. I need to make a housing for the pump uh, in case I would spill water on that. I don't want to ruin it. But this is the inside of my control panel. You see the back of the switches and the, the temperature controller there. Um, this contactor is the one that, that uh, goes on and off for the master power. That controls the power to the whole box and uh, that distribution block there. This controls the the heaters for my heat exchanger, and watch the you can watch the video for that too um, to see that work. But basically, I have uh, two hot wires for each heat, uh, heater for 240 volts, and it goes through that contactor. So right now they are they are off, but it's about to call for some heat here in a couple seconds. So you'll see it kick on. Um, so right now the, heat, the contactor is off so there's no power going down here but when it kicks on these wires go to this receptacle there and that allows me to plug in my heat exchanger to uh, and those, those wires go up to my, my heaters and my heat exchanger. Um, I have some smaller relays here. One controls the pump. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Yeah, you can't really see it work but that controls the pump. Um, I have my distribution block here and that kind of have some hot wires coming in on this side and then I kind of just loop them to to just dis, uh, distribute the power going to my other other relays and lights and, and all that stuff. Um, inside the box this is where all the, the mess is of the wires and this that see the heater the heaters just kicked on there it's calling for heat. Um, this kind of uh, hides the, the messy stuff. And although it's, I'm not an electrician, um, I just kind of taught myself how to do all the wiring. Uh, it seems to work, so I assume I did it all right, but I'm sure somebody uh, that's more professional could probably clean it up a little more and make it look better, but I like it, so uh, this is how it's going to stay. See, I put a wiring harness there, or not a harness, but uh, just kind of gathered the wires there to, to clean that up a little bit. Um, that's pretty much it for the, the inside of the control panel. Um, I'm not going to go through every detail of all the wiring runs and everything, but um, that would that would take forever. But just, you can you can kind of get an idea of, of, of what it does, and uh, if you know about wiring, you could probably piece together something like this. So um, give me a comment if you see anything I could do better. Let me know, or if you like it, don't like it, let me know too. That's my control box.